we mixed a, a whole new mix, um, Drill Right, yeah, we mixed that, and uh, dead ass, that's, that's all we did. <laughs> we, 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 we've been doing the same thing. We added new chemicals, and uh, we were able to pull back really no problem, uh, push back out, we sailed out, um, and then that pipe has been a, a smooth pull, all 520 feet of it, so. So you're happy? I'm very happy, I'm very happy. I told him to drop the other guys, and we're gonna get this product. I'm, I'm impressed. I am truly impressed. My name is Angelique. I'm a directional drill operator and I work for Network Connex. For this bore, we've been out here, I think this is a week and a half now. It's about 520 foot long. Drilling through some really nasty uh, red clay. We have some of the um, marine clay. We have sand, it's been, it's been pretty gross. We're pulling a 12 inch fluted reamer and I think the package is 11 pipe. Actually, we've had trouble through this whole stretch, yeah. No matter how far we got production wise, um, you know, end of work day, go home, come back, and we that, that clay was, uh, it's either swelling up around the pipe that we've got in the ground still, or uh, we're having cave-ins from the sand. So uh, when we would come in, the rotation uh, pressures would be really high, uh, locking down those, those uh, you know, closest uh, rods to the drill. Uh, so basically we're ending up having to, you know, say we made it 300 feet back one day, it, we couldn't really come in and keep going. You'd have to swab it back out, uh, get that borehole like nice and lubed up again, then start all over again. Same thing, if you made it out so far, at the end of the day, you'd have to pull back and, and redo it, you know, the opposite way. Today was, was actually the, the best pressures I've seen, and that's what I was telling uh, my foreman. Typically on this, by the end of the bore, I was, I was running into 3,200, 3,800 pressure. I mean, getting close to that, that maxed outside. Today, I didn't go above 2,000, 2,100 on the thrust pressure. Uh, my rotation pressures, um, you know, they were way down. I think uh, started out around 2,500, but that was before we had uh, this product in the ground. So um, by the end of the bore, I was sitting around 15 to 18. Which is, which is way better. If other women want to do this, like 100% girl power, uh, this tooling gets heavy. Uh, I am, I get in trouble wearing my muddy boots in the house. You know, I, you, you're basically power washing your clothes off before you go inside, but anybody can do it. It's just, if, if you like being dirty and out, being outside, I'm not an office person. Can't do the gossip in there, so this is this works for me. Uh, the money's not bad. Money's it's across the board. It's getting more and more competitive. Uh, not too long ago, there weren't as many outfits out in this area. You didn't see a drill going down the road. You just didn't really see it. Now you can't travel anywhere without seeing these drills. Now, so now there is competition for that knowledge coming in, keeping people, growing people. Uh, you know, I, I tell everybody, I'll get you in there and I'll train you on every piece of equipment we have. Like, w w like we will get you there, you know, with that's that mentality is this, this field is growing so fast. There's so much work and you want to come work for me. I got you. <laughs> like, oh, let's do it. Um, at, at first, uh, joining any new crew, it, it gets it, difficult, I guess. Uh, a woman being in charge of men isn't always easy, but, uh, you know, typically once they see how I work, uh, that I bring knowledge to the team, um, you know, they see my, my work ethic alone, they usually fall right in line. We all pretty much create a family everywhere I go. 